Hello, I'm Reverend William C. Mumaugh II, and I'm pastor at Center Presbyterian Church in Slippery Rock, and I'd like to share a Lenten devotion for our Holy, Work, Holy Week experience. The reading today is from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Listen to God's word. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. This time of year, especially the season of Lent, finds us in the month of March. And the weather of March, which one day is so pleasant and other days uh, surprisingly much like winter. It also reminds me back to my high school days when I ran track. And this was track season or the beginning of. And I remember one of those March meets, my very, very first year of varsity track as a sophomore, coming to the meet against the school with snow and wind and cold. I was asked to run the 400 meters, which is a very difficult race. And I remember coming to the starting line and hearing the starters say, now you guys can take off your sweat shirts and your sweatpants, getting us down to just our tank top and shorts with the light fabric of our track uniform. The reason was we needed to make our best time and not be hindered down by the clothing, which would affect our arm and leg movement. It was a shock and it was cold. Now, when the race started, if you know anything about the 400 meters, it's a difficult race and it's an all out sprint. And as you go through the race, you are going 100%. And in this snowy, windy environment, in a dead sprint, in the cold weather of March, in a way I am working harder and harder and persevering to get to the final turn. Anyone who runs the 400 would tell you that the most important part of the race is the last 100 meters. And that is when you are most tired and most worn out. But you have to keep on giving that effort, even as your legs begin to grow weak and failure. All I could do was focus on that finish line and the same starter who got us our beginning, holding that stopwatch as I came through, hopefully having a winning time. On that day, I came in second to a very, very skilled runner, but I always remembered my first race of 400 meters on that day in March. The scripture I shared reminds me a lot about that 400 meter race that I participated in. One of my favorite theologians is William Barclay, and he said the Christian life is also a race. We don't go through the race of life trotting or casually, keeping up, we are called to give it our fullest effort. And it's fast moving and fast paced, especially in the times that we live in now. And just as I had to remove my sweats, my sweat top and my sweatpants, so I wouldn't be hindered back with the time of the technique and abilities of my speed, we are called to recognize what handicaps us in the race of life. It is our sinfulness that entangles us. And what a perfect image that we can relate to as the season of Lent is winding down. We have been called to look in at what is wrong with our lifestyle or our faith as we examine our sins and realize what we find in the cross of Jesus Christ. You know, the Greek word for race is actually agon. And from that word, we get our word for agony. And I would say the 400 meter race is a race of agony, but in many ways, so is the race of life. We have happy moments and blessings that we share with friends 
and family and in God's creation and in the worship and fellowship of our churches. But there are also difficulties and challenges that will come our way. They come unexpected and unannounced, even as today we are dealing with a war in Ukraine. But we are called to persevere, aren't we? And as the writer and author of Hebrews reminds us, there is always going to be something that is in our way. We persevere, don't we? We persevere with the understanding of God's word. We persevere along our brothers and sisters in Christ. And we persevere with our own relationship with our Lord God. You know, it's very, very important to know that as in the 400 meters, the last part of our race is so important. As we grow older and as we gain wisdom through God, we are called to remember to finish strong. How remarkable that we are doing these devotions during Holy Week. And we know that the life of Christ, as we follow along in the scriptures, will lead him to the cross. But let's not fail to be reminding ourselves that as long as we focus on Jesus Christ in all times and places, that will keep us on the right finish line. He is truly the author and perfecter of our faith. We follow him as we journey through Holy Week to that cross and then eventually the empty tomb. So friends, let us run our race as difficult and challenging as it may be. May we run it with our eyes fixed on our Lord and Savior who went before us providing us his wisdom, his teaching, his example, and his comfort. May God bless you this holy week season.